because um, I'm a member of the PDP and I'm glad to be a member of the PDP, but I'm one that is very obedient. I call it with a very high obedience vote because this is it. So that is not anti-party activity? Well, my loyalty is first to my conscience, then to my nation, and then to any other engagement. Because um, I'm a member of the PDP, and I'm glad to be a member of the PDP, but I'm one that is very obedient. I call it with a very high obedience vote, because this is it. So that is not anti-party activity? Well, my loyalty is first to my conscience, then to my nation, and then to any other engagement, which includes a political party. Being a member of the PDP and participating in all the electoral processes, and I was, you know, more or less the spokesperson of the PDP in 2015, when had our election. So I've been a major player in the PDP, but the development of Nigeria, the salvation that the Nigerians need, is not vested in a political party any longer. You have people who are members of the PDP, members of the APC, members of all kinds of political parties who support Mr. Peter Obi because it transcends the political party right now. We are trying to save our lives and not save our political parties. That's what we are doing, and that's where Nigeria is now. We cannot continuously, you know, pretend that all is well. And so, or because I'm a member of the PDP, then whoever the PDP candidate is, then you must support. That's not how democracy plays out in other developed economies. There are members of the, 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 the Democrats Party who support Republican candidates, and vice versa. So it is about the capacity, the capability, the competence of yeah, the individual. If you